Hey guys, it's Torex here and I'm starting this tutorial to show you how to install custom scripts onto stream avatars, including this catching script. Let's get into it. So the first step is to join the stream avatars discord right here. Uh, so you just join, accept the rules and everything, get into the discord. It's really simple. And then you come to this Lua script share channel where you can find the catching script I'm showcasing today right here at the bottom, as well as a ton of other scripts from other people in the Discord. After you join the Discord and everything, uh, you're going to download the Pokemon.lua file right here and the Pokemon underscore settings.json file right here. There's just a couple of download buttons right here. Pretty simple. And once you download those, we'll move on to the next step. Just a fair warning, I am using this Pokemon pack made by yours truly and Potterzilla and Juni. Uh, for this script, it is like the script is specifically made to work with this pack. It can work with any avatar pack you want, but just know uh, I am personally using it with this avatar pack. So if you want the to follow this uh, tutorial, as closely as possible, I highly recommend installing this avatar pack that me and Potter and Juni work on. All right, now we're going to actually set up the script on stream avatars. So what we're going to do is open up stream avatars, obviously, uh, and then we're going to go to the bot command section, edit custom commands. We're going to create a command. I'm going to call it Pokemon just because that's what the files and everything are called. You can name it whatever. Just know if you name it whatever you want, you will have to rename the actual script files to what you named the command. So we're just going to name it Pokemon. And that will be created right here. Then we're going to click this gear, click edit. You don't have to change anything else. You just got to click advanced, create script. That'll open up the script folder in the stream avatars folder. We're just going to minimize that for right now. We're going to change on command call to on connect. That is all we have to do on the stream avatar side of things. On to the next step. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the files you downloaded from Discord. Just copy them over to this new script folder that stream avatars opened. And that is basically the script is installed, but now we have to customize it to our liking. All right, and the program we're going to use to do this uh, is called Visual Studio Code. I highly recommend installing this program. It makes editing these scripts and everything a million times easier. Uh, don't worry, you don't have to know like any coding basically to adjust these scripts to your liking. Uh, but I will leave a link to Visual Studio Code in the description. We're just going to once you have it installed, if you right click in the folder, you should see this open with code option. We're just going to open that up. Uh, so then we have the settings file right here, which this is the main file we're going to be changing. But also, uh, we, this is the main script file. And there is a couple of things I want to go over in this file real quick that you can change if you would like. Uh, if we just scroll down here, uh, this right chat line right here, you can adjust this to your liking. I have it personally on my Twitch channel. I have it use the slash announce command, which makes the chat a little more noticeable. You can get rid of that if you want. If you're using like YouTube or something, you can just have it look like this, where it just says a wild Pokemon appeared blah 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 or you can leave it as the slash announce if you're on twitch and you want it to look the same way so that is all you have to really worry about in the main script file so let's move on to the settings file all right so we are just going to go over what these settings are and how to change them to our liking uh so we have the main avatar right here which this is obviously what avatar spawns we have the color, which is the color palette of the avatar. We have an effect, which is basically just think of effect and gear as the same thing. It's just 
a way to do two sets of gear pieces, basically. And then we have the name tag, which is a, whatever name tag you want to give it. And then the weight. You don't have to change weight, uh, chance, or cached. You just have to change weight. Weight is how common the avatar spawns. A higher number means more common. A lower number means less common. That's all you need to worry about. And it can be any number from one to a million if you want it to be. It can be any number you want. I typically do about 100 as my highest and 10 as my lowest. I found that was pretty good. We also have live seconds and dead seconds here. What this means is live seconds is how long the avatar stays spawned in for, and dead seconds is how long in between avatars, like the cooldown between avatars spawning. So basically, live seconds means this would spawn in an avatar, and the avatar would stay spawned in for five minutes, and then it would despawn and then it would wait another five minutes because of the dead seconds to spawn another avatar. So you could change this to however you want. It's in seconds. 300 seconds is five minutes. So this would spawn one avatar about every 10 minutes. That's how I personally like it, but you can adjust it to however you want. You could just Google seconds to minutes calculator. Pretty simple. You just put whatever you want in here. Now that we have the actual settings, how we want them to be, we are going to add another avatar to this list. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of this, like this block of code right here. We're going to control C and we're going to shift and enter right. So we have a line right underneath this one and just control V. So that will basically just add another block of code here. And keep in mind, this comma needs to be here above on every block of code except this last one here. Notice how this one doesn't have a comma and these two do have the comma. This last one will not work if it has a comma and every one of like every block of code above it needs the comma. Just pointing that out. It's a simple thing to overlook. So yeah, if this last one has a comma, it will not work. If this, if anyone above it ha doesn't have a comma, it will not work. Okay, so now we are going to change this to work. We're going to change this to spawn a different avatar. So we're going to just have this spawn a Squirtle avatar. So we're just gonna change Charmander to Squirtle. And let's say we want it to be a shiny Squirtle. So we're going to put Squirtle in the gear section uh, and then shiny. Keep in mind, this is made to work with the avatar pack. As I said earlier in the video, this is can be different depending on what pack you have installed. Like the shininess might be in the color or a color palette or something. Just know I'm doing these settings based on the avatar pack that I have installed. So in this case, it is a gear item. So we're going to do the Squirtle gear folder and then the shiny gear piece. And then let's change it to shiny tag once again. That's just the custom name tag I made personally. You can make any name tag you want or you can just set it to none if you don't want any name tag, whatever. And so it, this uh, this Squirtle will have the same chance because it's the same weight to spawn as the Charmander. Once again, if you want things to be rarer, we can set it to like 50 and that would mean it's only half as common as the Charmander. Uh, but we are just going to leave it at 100 for now. And I dropped the Charizard down to 10. So, and then we are just going to save the file. And then we're on to test the actual script. If you did everything correctly, we should be able to just connect on stream avatars and have the script run automatically now. So now let's wait for the avatar to spawn and everything. There it is. A wild Pokemon has appeared. Type catch 
Pokemon name to attempt to catch it, and it looks like the shiny Charizard spawned in. So we'll type catch char char Izzard. And that'll initiate the duel with it. And if I win the duel, I will be gifted and switched to the shiny Charizard avatar. And there we go. I would also like to point out that every time you connect on stream avatars and the script runs itself, uh, the settings file will be formatted to look like this. Don't worry, it's not broken or anything. Uh, and this is actually why I highly recommend Visual Studio Code, because once you open it up and go to edit it uh, more, you know, add more avatars and stuff, what you do is you hold Shift, Alt, and then F. You just hit Shift, Alt, F, and that'll reformat it to be how it was before. So, and some of the things might flip around and everything. It's fine. Don't worry about it. it still works. So you just hit Shift, Alt, and F. Change it how you want. Like we could change Charizard back to normal if we wanted instead of shiny. Then you just save it again, run the script again, and yeah, you'll be fine. So that is how you install custom scripts onto stream avatars. I hope this tutorial helped you out. And if it did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, you know, ring the bell, all that algorithm stuff, you know, YouTube stuff. <laughs> so yeah, have a good one, guys. Peace.